Dear friends, had any of you ever went to zoos or traveled to Thailand and ridden on elephants? Well, I had, and I believe that most of you had too. When we were young, zoos used to bring me a lot of fun. However, have you guys ever thought about why these elephants let you stay on its back like a good boy instead of bouncing you off since it's a wild animal? Two years ago, I watched a documentary film called Black Elephant. This film was not long, but it really hit me. I began to realize one problem. I learned that these people use long metal hooks like this to beat the elephant. That often causes serious wounds or sometimes even death. The people torture the animals and force them to behave and entertain humans. So I really couldn't help to think about why do we need zoos? And why can't we just close all the zoos in the world? Yeah, why? A lot of you might think that zoos could educate our children. But guys, do you still remember what the lions look like in zoos? Maybe you don't remember because they are always, they are always sleeping, right? In our opinion, lions are fierce hunters. That is because you see them hunting. However, in zoos, lions never hunt. People just throw them food to eat. So lions have nothing to do except sleeping. Is that the kind of lion you use to educate your children? In the wild, lions are fierce and brave hunters. That is why they're called the kings of savannah. However, we capture the lions and then bring them to our front steps, lock them up into cages. When your children grew up and they found out what you have done, will they ever be grateful of your education? You might also think that there are some kinds of zoos that claim it protects animals instead of torturing them, such as an elephant retirement park. Actually, last summer I also had been to a retirement park because I want to visit and to take care of the elephants. We fed them food, helped them take baths, and they seem very happy, and so do us. However, nobody seems to realize that there was actually a baby elephant, which was always swaying back and forth like this all the time. I thought it was a bit weird, so when I went home, I searched it on the internet. I found that this is actually a sign of stress for wild animals. Even though it's a retirement home, it's not the true home of the baby elephant. In fact, all the animals in the wild have their own life cycles and have their own adaptations. None of them need special protection from us humans. Well, there are some kinds of animals that need special protection because they're endangered species. However, instead of locking them up in zoos, we actually build them some natural reserves or protection zone. So we let them live in their original and natural habitats. And no tourists are ever allowed to come near the pandas and to bother them. That is a completely different matter from zoos. As you can see, cities are not the right places to watch wild animals. Instead, you can let your children learn about the animals from documentary films, books, or movies. These could light a fire in the children's heart, and they could learn to love the wild animals. When they grow up, 
You can even take them to visit the animals in their homes. You can see the wild elephants roaming across the endless savanna. Seals and dolphins playing happily under the ocean. That is effective education. And that is where the animals should be. As you can see, we do not need zoos at all. In, 20, um, in fact, some people are already beginning to realize the problem. And some of them are even calling for the wild animals to return to where they belong. In 2017, Guangzhou Zoo had put a permanent stop to its animal performance business, which had already lasted for about 24 years. In addition, two beluga whales named Xiao Hui and Xiao Bai from Changfeng Oceanic Park had also stopped performing to tourists. Just last year, they were shifted all the way from Shanghai to a protection zone in Iceland. Therefore, they could play happily and freely under the blue ocean once more. Actually, according to the famous biologist Charlie Starwin, all life forms on Earth had originated from a protein compound. Therefore, all the humans and the other animals on Earth both originated from the exactly same substance. We are in the same family of Earth, and we, humans, are nothing special from the other animals. But the problem here is that we always think we are at the top of the food chain, and we are the most intelligent animals on our planet. So we have the right to control every single animal that are weaker than us. But I have a question for you. Will humans control this planet forever? Dinosaurs used to claim planet Earth for about 200 million years. So of course, they would think they could control the planet forever, right? But if a dinosaur had traveled through time until this stage today, they could have completely no idea how and why would they be taken over by this bunch of hairless monkeys? Oh my god. In addition, humans only survived for about 120,000 years. So now, you can answer my question. Will humans control the planet forever? Maybe in the future, we will also be taken over by a bunch of beautiful metals, whose name is robot. Artificial intelligence is already taking over a lot of human jobs. So maybe in the future, they could completely substitute humans and become the overlords of planet Earth. By the time when humans lose all our powers and just become a kind of useless animal like everybody else, do you want to be treated like the zoo animals we've just seen in the pictures? We always think that the nature needs us. But if humans all disappeared, nothing would change. In fact, it's us, humans, who need the nature. So, dear friends, no circus, no zoos, Free the wild animals and let them return home. Please. Thank you.